Michael Forward for Peace FM Chet TV, and I'm here with a uh, newer employee to Peace FM and Chet TV, Maureen Strickland. And Maureen joins us as part of the Local Journalism Initiative. Uh, welcome to the studio, Maureen. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Maureen Strickland, and I recently started here at Chet TV. Um, came from Ontario, and I came here to be the local journalism initiative reporter. My background is in community development, uh, about 20 years in that field. And more recently, I went back to school, did a diploma in journalism. And now I can combine the two fields here at Chat TV. Okay. And uh, as you mentioned, you're here as part of the local journalism initiative. Could you tell us a little bit about that and how that brought you here? So the local journalism initiative, local journalism initiative is a program of Heritage Canada to put journalists in communities in Canada where there is, uh, could be a news desert or certain beats aren't being covered by the news that, that, that is in the, those areas. So this program puts print journalists, um, radio journalists, and TV journalists into communities across Canada. So Chet TV um, applied to get a, a multimedia journalist here uh, in Chetwind, where there has not been, from my understanding, um, a dedicated journalist in the community for quite some time. Uh, I think your paper closed a number of years ago. So the purpose of the Local Journalism Initiative is to um, do journalism in these communities, bring information to citizens in these communities so that they can become more actively involved in democracy. That's the bottom line of the Local Journalism Initiative. Um, so as a reporter, I will be focusing on civic journalism, journalism uh, in Chetwind. And what is civic journalism to you? So civic journalism is really about um, covering issues that a community could actually uh, make a difference around. So the role of civic journalism is to, you know, look at these issues objectively, um, start, uh, help uh, facilitate conversations, um, give citizens the information so that they might be able to make a change in their community about an issue that they m could be uh, passionate about or they feel is very um, important to their community to actually make some changes. And um, civic journalism is then about engaging citizens to become more involved in their democracy. Okay, and you mentioned uh, issues within the community. So what issues have you identified that uh, you think you'll be tackling over the next little while? Well, we've, we've um, you know, we've slowly started consulting with people in the community, I've done a lot of uh, uh, observation, reading, started to go to um, council meetings, have watched uh, Peace River or Peace Region, Regional District meetings, etc. So, you know, together with um, the general manager here at Chat TV, we've come up with an initial list um, that includes um, issues around the wildfire situation, more to do with safety in the community, uh, perhaps, you know, air quality warnings, evacuations, what do people need to know? Are there safe spaces to go in the community? Uh, we've also talked about uh, rural health issues that are common to many rural areas across Canada uh, in terms of professional retention, uh, emergency departments closing, that sort of thing. We've also talked about housing issues, affordability and supply. Um, safety, sort of safe spaces, how do community feel, how does community feel about um, the parks in the community? Do they feel safe going to places like Spirit Park? We've also been looking at road safety um, and uh, started to dig a little bit into um, accident statistics at some of the inter uh, intersections here in town. Um, dust, I've had business, we've talked to some businesses and they've talked about the the cost of the dust in Chetwind to just their commercial running their businesses. Um, and I'm just going to check my notes here. 
but I believe those are the top kind of five to seven that, that we've identified. But what I would really like to get is some feedback from people in the community. Tell me the issues that you're passionate about that you would like me to look into um, or comment on the ones that I've already talked about. Okay, and if someone from the community wanted to uh, contact you, what's the best way to do that? They could call me um, here at the station. I don't remember the phone number off the top of my head. Um, or email me at maureen at peacefm.ca. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, I'll just add, too, that one of the big things that I'll be doing is just generally covering um, the... District of Chetwin Municipal Council meetings, as well as the Peace River Regional District meetings, and pulling out of those meetings um, information and issues that are relevant and could be of interest to the citizens here. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck in your position. Thank you very much. Thank you.